You talked about, uh, I think you worked on, a, uh, I think, one, two companies before uh, yes. Guitar Hero. Uh, how do they go? Um, uh, well, not too well. <laughs> um, you know, I always joke that, that I have started seven companies, of which uh, all anybody's ever heard of is one. <laughs> um, which, you know, that batting average still isn't bad in Silicon yeah, Valley. That's amazing. <laughs> um, but the first company I started was a company called Adux Software. I also started that with my brother and another high school classmate. Mm -hmm. It was in the realm of open source software because that high school classmate uh, happened to be kind of an expert in that area. Mm -hmm. um, you know, one of the key things I learned from that, the company didn't go and we ended up shutting it down. Uh, but one of the key things I learned that, from that was how much luck and timing was required. Mm -hmm. um, basically, we were in open source software. We had talked to a bunch of companies. Um, they were willing to engage in us, but nobody really believed that open source software could be commercialized. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, we made it, you know, well, we made a decision at that point, like, well, no one's buying this thing, so let's just shut it down. And then literally within probably four to six months, Red Hat IPO'd, and then another company called Cobalt Networks IPO'd, mm -hmm. which was also an open source soft server company. And Cobalt especially had one of the great IPO opening days of all time. Uh, I think it went up like 500% in a day and it got all of this market buzz and all of a sudden people started calling us back saying, hey, you guys still have that, that software that you're working on? And by then we, we said, no, we shut everything down. And I realized that while timing and luck uh, uh, had a lot to do with, with being an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. um, and so um, that was one of the big key lessons I took away from that. Did that make you feel like you should be more persistent in the future endeavors? Because the future ones obviously had problems to issues too right um, do you feel like oh in the first one if I just dug a little further I was so close to striking the goal so maybe this time I should keep going when the data looks like unpromising yeah I think there was definitely a, a lot of that persistence there was a lot of um, you know we knew we couldn't control mm -hmm. the, the luck but we we just had to put ourselves in a position where we could get lucky um, and 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 so it was thinking about the problem in a slightly different way. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, even down to, uh, we didn't approach video game software this way, but, but the game software, there's a lot more opportunities, mm -hmm. and so therefore a lot more chance for luck to hit. Mm -hmm. So as a startup, we could put out a game like Guitar Hero and it could become an industry-wide hit. Mm -hmm. If we had gone into, say, operating systems, we would never have toppled Microsoft, right? Mm -hmm. There was just no opportunity to be lucky in that industry. If we had gone into search engine, we could never have toppled Google. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and so there are many areas of, uh, even though we're software, there are many areas that at that time look like, eh, you know, if you put yourself in that place, you're not gonna have a chance to be lucky. Mm -hmm. Whereas in other places, you could put yourself in a, a position to be lucky. Mm -hmm. And so I think in some ways we kind of learned from that first one is that we had to um, pick the products and pick our direction very carefully and if we had even within video games said we're going to build a first person shooter or we're going to build an MMORPG then mm -hmm. chances are we would not have been in a position I see I think there's probably still an opportunity for companies to start to make let's say enterprise software and get yeah. bought to Microsoft for a hundred million dollars yes and then Microsoft turns to a billion dollar business I think right. that, that opportunity still exists yes right but of course there's you know depending on uh, people's passion and landscape of course a lot of luck I'm just 